Hey everyone, it's Fox from Model Making Guru here. We're back with another little tutorial, only a very quick one today. We're going to make this a sort of part two of the last one. In the last one, you recall, we dry brushed the uh, vent streaks on the Falcon. This is how you use dry brushing for staining and streaking and things like that, or you can do. What I'm going to show you very quickly today is the main reason you would use dry brushing, and that is to um, accentuate highlights, blend some of the colour work in. Um, what we're going to do is basically take a shade that's everything's been washed on here now. It's had a smoke wash, it's had uh, dry brushing and streaking with uh, 502 Abtolung Starship Filth, engine grease, and there's some rust been applied. That's all been left to dry now for about a week because I want it fully dry. Um, what we're going to do now is I mixed a custom colour, uh, and when you do dry brushing for highlights, what you do is you either mix the original or use the original base colour that was on before all the weathering went on. Or maybe a slightly lighter tone if you've not done that much weathering. Uh, you can do dry brushing with any paint you like. I'm going to do this with oil paints. Um, you can use acrylics for dry brushing, but I find for a lot of colours, a lot of dry brush uh, acrylic colours, the paint tends to dry quite quickly because it's acrylic, uh, and it can get quite lumpy on the brush, and you get little lumps and bumps and particles coming out of paint on the bodywork on the model. Um, that's not really desirable for me, so I tend to use oils if I can, purely because they're finer and smoother and because they take so long to dry, you don't tend to get bits and particles. So what I have done, the original base colour on this was painted in Tamiya Acrylics. It was a 4 to 1 mix of white and deck tan, so four parts white, flat white, and one part uh, Tamiya deck tan. We're using oils, I've mixed a similar colour, this one, just make sure you can see, this one. Uh, I tried some experimenting first and got a kind of pinky shade. This is basically a completely unwritten down and un guesswork, basically. Um, artist white oil paint, um, a tiny little bit of um, 502 Abtai Lung basic flesh tone, just to warm it slightly. And a very tiny touch of my favourite paint, and you know it, Starship Filth. The white was just bog standard artist's white paint. Um, so I've got a, a colour that's kind of similar to the original acrylic. Let me just get one of those for you. If I can find it. Via have I put, there it is. This is the original acrylic paint that I mixed up. Uh, it says three parts on there, but it's not. It's four parts to one part. Um, so it's not exact, but it's close enough. Because the original paint's now been weathered anyway so you, it's a warmer brown a darker tone so now you remember from the last dry brushing um, we basically have our paint mixed no thinners we have a piece of absorbent tissue as I saw one video call it the day it's kitchen roll uh, kitchen roll is better than toilet roll it gives off less fluffy bit less fluffy bits uh, and overall I'm going to use three brushes all flat chisel edged so very soft I think these are sable they might not be but they're artist brushes. Nice big flat, reasonably firm but still soft one. That's for large areas. Um, a medium one and a small one for the little pokey bits. I can use the small one for these little areas and, um, and bits where I want to get into recesses. The medium and the big one I'll use for um, larger areas like here where I don't want too much highlighting because it's dirty but I want a little bit. And big flat panels where I want to blend the colours a little bit. So, as you've seen me do before, all you do is you get your brush, again, no thinner, get the brush and the paint, Let's get some paint on it. I may not have mixed enough paint here. Move your paint palette away from where your arms will rest on the desk, that's the big important thing. Uh, get your tissue, get most of the paint off on the tissue. Put your magnifying visor on if you're an old man like me and you can't see anything. I nearly swore then. Um, and all you ever do is very very gently, almost not touching at all, just move the brush across the surface. Same as last time, same with the streaks. Um, if you need to go in a certain direction, like if I was doing this edge here and I wanted the, the, the fading to kind of go that way, I'd do it that way. If I wanted it here to come down, I'd do it that way. Um, so let's give this a go. So it's just, I'm just tr trying to catch the edges more than anything else. I'm almost not touching it at all. I'm not putting any pressure on with the brush. And even I'm struggling to see it and I'm sat right here so I doubt you can see much going on. 
And I don't want to put a load on. I almost want nothing. It's one of those things that when you see the finished model, you won't necessarily register that it's there directly. You won't see the dry brushing. But your eye will register, or your brain will register, a slight edge to the object. It just brings out the edges ever so slightly. I'll just take a... Well, I was going to take a picture of before, but I'll do that on a different bit. Sorry, that's my head there. I'll do a before and after pick on a different bit because I forgot to take a picture for this. And that really is it. I'll just go along this edge here and the bottom edge. I say the good thing about oils is they don't dry up on the brush, so you don't get lumps. One other thing I'm going to do with this dry brushing as well is these decals, obviously they've been weathered and covered over, so that that's not bright red now, it's kind of faded, but if you dry brush on the decal, or on a coloured panel, you can ever so gently fade it out. So if you've got a, say, a, I don't know, a Colonial Viper and you've got bright red decals that stand out a mile even after the weathering, just give them a very light dry brush of your, a very light colour, like your main body colour or a white or off-white, and it just fades them ever so much let's try this one and blends them in a little bit and it will also catch the edges you can't see it on the camera but you catch the edges so it just gives that look of ever so slightly faded paint because these are supposed to be painted panels they're not supposed to be decals doesn't work on every colour and you probably can't see any of this if you go a bit too heavy Wear gloves, obviously, to avoid fingerprints, but you can, because it's all paint, it's wet, you can smudge it, you can blend it, you can get a completely clean brush and blend it. Um, and that, my friends, is it. That's it. That's dry brushing. Uh, you can do more than one application. You can do lots and lots of applications, if you wish. I've just spotted something here that I want to change. So, another handy tip. If you find... You can't see it, but there's a bit of scratchy brush marks here. If you want it just to blend a bit, you can do it with your finger, or if it's a tight corner, just get yourself a cotton bud, or as I always say, as our colonial co cousins call them, Q-tips. You can just run over it, and it'll just blend them and smooth them slightly. I wish I'd taken a picture of this one, because this is the best bit as well, and darn. So basically what I will now do is I'll go off and do that over the whole of the ship. Uh, especially, oops, banging the camera with my headset. Uh, especially in the little raised details. Just to bring them out. Um, bring out the ones that have been darkened by this dry brush. And just bring out the details underneath as well. These areas here where it's not got the dry brushing on it. Um, just to make them pop a little bit. Just to give them some edges so they don't just look like a uniform colour. It makes you, you your model pop. Gives it a bit of... A lot of weathering and, and panel um, colouring and things like that on a model is giving an image, an idea of depth. And I'm struggling to get my words out today. Um, it's faking depth. Um, you've got to do it carefully because, you know, if it's a, if I'm making a model of, um, I don't know, an aircraft, I'm not going to use the same sort of panel line weathering or highlight weathering technique I might use on a massive spaceship because the scale is different. Um, you know, I wouldn't put a rust chip on a Star Destroyer because that would make the rust chip 20 feet long and that would be stupid. Whereas on this, you know, a person's about this big. So, if you can see that, a person's about this big on this ship, so you'll have some staining and chipping. So I'll go and do the rest of the ship anyway. That's all you do. Literally, that's it. Uh, when you're finished, obviously, rinse your brushes off in your thinner and you're done. Um, you can use the bigger brushes if you're wanting to get an overall... Let's say if I wanted to do, say, see what you can see. If I wanted to do this area here, these raised bits, I'll do it now actually. I'd just get, probably not the biggest brush, I don't need the biggest brush really. The medium brush. Get my paint on the brush. Get most of it off on the tissue. This is a soft floppy brush, so it's quite good. And again, almost but not quite touching. Well, almost, but just very lightly touching. I'm going to go it this way to get the edges. And I'm doing it horizontal and oh, along with the edge. If I go like this, 
it's just going to put it everywhere. I only want it on the tops and edges. So I'm just very lightly running over the edges. I'll do the same the other way, except it's with my left hand, so it'll probably be rubbish. And then I, you won't really see any of this on camera, I know that. But I'll take some pictures for you. And that's it, that's dry brushing. Almost using no paint for something you probably won't even notice, but your brain will register it in fake light and dark depth and shadows and highlights. Um, right, I'll show you a couple of before and after pics then. Uh, but that's it for this one. I'm not sure what the next one will be. Uh, I'll come up with something. Um, but that'll be it for now. So thanks as always for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments on the YouTubes or the Facebooks or the websites or anywhere uh, if there's a particular thing you'd like me to try and cover off for you. Might not be able to do everything because there's some things I don't do or not done before. So, But we'll give it a go. But uh, take care of yourselves and we will see you again soon. Adios amoebas.